Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Larissa Noon here, Realtor with EXP Realty here in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. AKA, yes, you know it, Dinosaur Capital of the World. And in today's video tutorial, I'm showing you how I create my animated title sequences for my YouTube videos, which really help me to break up my content or points of speaking into different sections. And I use Canva and Premiere Pro to do this. But before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my uploads and follow me on Instagram at load and living. Let's get into the tutorial. All right, we are here at the Canva dashboard and we're just gonna go to create a design and I'm gonna go straight to customize size again. We are gonna have 1920 by 10, oops, 1080. So I'm gonna show you three styles of title sequences that I have been using lately in my videos. Um, these title sequences are great for your real estate videos if you're making buyer or seller content and you are just talking about certain points. It helps to break up the content of your video so it's easy to understand and it makes it a lot much more engaging, I feel. So for the first one, I usually just do just a very simple black page. And then I just add in text and then just a small little animation. So for example, let's say we're doing a buyer video and the first point we're gonna be talking about is the fact that as a buyer, you need to get pre-approved. So I'm gonna go into my graphics here, my elements, sorry. I'm gonna go and get that rectangle with the rounded edges. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna make sure it is centered on the page. I'm going to make this rectangle white and we're going to put a text box. So T for a text box, I'm going to make this green and I'm just going to make the text bigger. Let's just call this buying tip number one. I'm just going to size that up a little bit more so it fits better. Oops. Okay, now we're going to do another text box. I'm just going to go here. All right, and I'm going to make this, uh, this green color here. I'm going to bold that. This is going to be... I'm going to have it as this text. And I'm going to have this in capital letters. I'm going to say get pre-approved. Okay, I'm going to make sure this is all centered on the page. There we go. And then one little animation I like to use is an arrow, animated arrow. Let's see, I like this one here. And I'm just going to rotate it 180 degrees. Just like that. And then what I usually like to do is add an animation to, to this page. I usually like to use stomp and I'm going to animate this text here and make it as a block and that that's it for the first title sequence okay let's make another one so instead of just a black screen you can level it up a notch and we can do a photo let's just type in homes I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this home. All right, I'm just gonna size it properly here. What I'm going to do is just I'm going to make the transparency just, yeah, just about 65. Oops. And I'm just gonna copy this text here 
and put it on top. Now it is a little bit harder to read, so we'll just bring this quite transparency down quite a bit. So there's that. So again, you have stomp and the block just like that. Now, if you want to level it up one more notch, you can put a video in here. So let's go to videos. If you have Canva Pro, you should have access to the stock photos and videos. Let's do house. Um, let's see. This will use this one. And let's just clip this down to five seconds. Right. And I'm going to bring it down the transparency. And again, I'm just going to copy and paste the text from the previous ones. Just a bit. I'm going to make this again stop at the animation and I'm going to animate the text there as the block. So that is pretty much it. You have three different styles of title sequences. If you go ahead and watch them all, you have your basic simple one here. Then you have your picture that's level two. And the next one over level three is having a video in the background. And now the way that I use this is I will download all of the slides together as a mp4 video file. I will export that from Canva and import it into my editing software and I use Adobe Premiere Pro. So we are going to get let that download and then I will see you on the other side. Alright, so once you have the video exported from Canva, Go ahead and open a new project in your editing software, drag that into the import section, and I'm just going to drag that onto the timeline. So you'll notice it is one footage, one piece of video. So the way you're going to break that up is just scrub through your timeline and just kind of get as best as you can in between each clip. Just cut that. Then do that for the other one. Oops, just go back right about here. We'll do this right, right there. So there you have three different title sequences. And if you bring in a piece of, excuse my face. <laughs> oh, great. So if you have a a piece of footage, drag that into your timeline, and you'll just are going to want to really just put the title sequence wherever your first point, your second point is. So it would look like that on top of your footage, and then segue into your talking head, and then the other one here. And same thing right there. So that's how I create most of my video graphics and elements. I do everything in Canva and then I export that and put that into my timeline. It, it makes things really easy for me so I don't have to worry about the technicalities of Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, it makes my editing process very easy and simple, I think. And that is pretty much it for today's tutorial. It was a quick one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helped me out so much. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my uploads, and follow me on Instagram at Load and Living. And until next time, I will see you all next time. Bye, friends.